but yeah, that's tart. No. <laughs> no. Uh... Everybody. Ah, crap. Welcome to the first ever <laughs> This Week in Gross sampling. Yes. We're doing it. Uh, we promised we would get our hands on the tomato basil from Four Quarters Brewing. And we also have the pickle juice from Four Quarters Brewing. Because why not? Because if we're making it gross, we might as well make it gross. So, yeah. Uh, here we go. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so, like, as we said, we said if we got our hands on the beer, we would make a video. Uh, Steven's brother got us the beer, so thanks. Thanks for doing now this. Now we guys. have to do this, but now we're here, um, and uh, wish us luck. Here we go. Uh Things off with the pickle. This beer is a sour ale with cucumbers, honeydew, and fresh dill. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize it had honeydew in it. I kind of like honeydew. Yeah, that might make it better. It's yeah. 4.5 alcohol by volume, and uh, we're talking about Four Quarters Brewing out of Winooski, Vermont, if you're unfamiliar with them. Actually, a great brewery. We they may not like that. us after today. They may not like us after today, but I mean... Maybe our eyes will be open. Maybe we're wrong. Here you go. Okay. Salute. All right. Very carbonated. We pour mine. I don't know why I'm being so generous with these pours, but... Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have to drink this now. <laughs> well, this is this pickle. This is our first pickle beer of the season. Apparently, it's the beer of 2021. It's pickle. So... The it honeydew does, comes through. The dill I, comes through. I'm getting the pickle. I'm getting I'm getting the dill. This is a very big dill. Uh, you ready to do this? We promise you guys... <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we got yeah. ourselves a pickle. I don't hate it. No. I don't love it. Um, it, everything's normal at first. You get like sour and tart and you get the, a little bit of the honeydew. Maybe you get some sweet up front and then the back of your palate comes in. It's just all it's pickle just, like, for me. Pickle, like just pickle. Yeah. Meat. I don't know if I love them this much. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, thank God we're splitting this. I feel like we should be eating burgers. Like, you know how you put pickles on burgers sometimes? Mm -hmm. Like... Like, I need so – I can't just have this – like, don't drink this by itself. You know we where need I, something else. You know where else. I eat pickles a lot? Uh, fried chicken sandwiches. And you know what this tastes like? It tastes Ooh. like uh, when I – you know how, like, when you bite into it, the worst part is the pickle? That's what this tastes like. It's all this. The worst part. This is the part of your fried chicken sandwich that you're like, other than that, I really like this. No uh, alcohol bite at all. Uh, you could slam this, no problem. Kind of tastes like water a little bit. Mouthfeel is very zingy and tart, but as far as sour goes, it's pretty mellow on the sour. I don't get a whole lot of bite, like sour tartness bite-wise. I don't get a lot of the, like, esters or anything like that. It's really, it's like a subtle kiss of pickle with not much other flavor in there to me. Yeah, like, it's not horrible. It's just, like, I just couldn't believe how much pickle was on that first taste, that on that first sip. That's why I was, like, laughing, but, yeah. All right, well, you know. I drank most of the glass, so it could be worse. We'll put it that way. I'm working it could on be it. Worse. It's uh, yeah. If you don't like pickles, stay far away from this. Don't come anywhere near this. All right. Should we do it? <laughs> okay. So I feel like saying up front, I hate tomatoes. Gabe likes tomatoes, so. If Gabe loves this beer and I hate it, we'll have an answer. This is going to be hilarious. Tomato basil. Sour ale. <laughs> Sour ale with roasted tomatoes and fresh basil, 4.5%. Uh, same kind of artwork, the little guys dancing around. I don't even know. This guy's barbecuing. This guy's throwing darts it's basically us in cartoon form so 
this beer was apparently super popular in Four Quarters uh, when they did it like a year ago or something like that, and they brought it back, and we made fun of them on the show, and then Gabe talked shit, and then we ended up, it ended up in our hands, and now we're stuck doing this. I really don't like tomatoes. Like, I need to make that clear. It's an aversion. It's a deep-seated aversion. I order everything I order in a restaurant. It's that without <laughs> tomatoes, 100%. Here's the good news, folks. It's not red i was really genuinely nervous i thought it was gonna i thought it was gonna be beer. this color yeah like and it's it's not just tomato it's tomato basil it's a sour ale with roasted tomatoes and fresh basil so it's a it's a pizza beer maybe oh i don't like oh it, it smells like a garden <laughs> it smells like it's, a pizzeria it smells like an outdoor <laughs> garden in the summertime <laughs> oh, oh boy it's remember tomato is a fruit so we could think of this as a fruited sour ale. Should we, though? I think tomatoes are vegetables. All right. Here we go. Mama didn't raise no bitch. <laughs> um... Steven? It's it's very, very acidic, uh, as tomatoes are acidic, mm -hmm. and it's a sour. Um, it is like, it's like if you drank sauce a little bit, um, with some, with some of the aspects of a sour. If you really like sours, I think you would like this more than the pickle. Um, but yeah, that's tart. No. No. As I drink it more, it's getting worse because it's so acidic that it's just piling on. It's very tart, guys. Like, we we love all beer and we try to be inclusive of all styles here on the hop. But um, I wouldn't order this. However, if you really like very sour beers, maybe this one will do it for you. Lots of zing in the mouth. Super tart. I I want to know who decided this because I I don't know I'd be the one person on the board at four quarters going yeah let's pass on this dream it it just it tastes like liquid pizza and that's not really what it's just a lot of basil and a lot of tomato I'm trying to think of the right setting for this <laughs> is it a barbecue beer is it a summery beach beer I, I mean i guess so like all the can cartoons is it a pizzeria beer i feel like no because if you had to if you had actual tomato sauce on a dish and also this oh my god you'd throw you'd up. have acid reflux <laughs> this is the whatever the opposite of thirst quenching is that's this that's this i feel like i'm getting more tomato than basil i feel like it smells more like basil and it just tastes like tomato juice yeah. <laughs> Why did your brother do this to us? You brought this on us. I did. It's my you fault. You put us in this position. I take full responsibility right. and, uh, wow. Well, this goes to show you, people make weird beer. It exists. We've had jelly donut beers. We've had tomato basil beers. We've had pickle beers. We've had, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. This is definitely... I feel like, see, we're going to keep this in the, this week in gross, for sure. Yeah, you earned the title. Uh, four quarters, we love you. This was unnecessary. We appreciate your sense of humor. <laughs> but sometimes when your fans ask for something, you need to be the adult. In the room. <laughs> if you like this beer... Tell us what food pairing it would go with, and we'll tell you our Why thoughts on that. Wrong. Yeah, we'll comment back. All right, guys. Well, we're going to finish these because that's what we do because we don't leave beer on the table. Yeah. But thank you for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. If you like seeing us in pain, let us know. We will do this again with other This Week in Grosses.
Uh, and until then, you can catch the hop every Thursday wherever you listen to podcasts and right here on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Bye. Save yourselves.